sometimes the uh, light string beans, like the uh, sliced thin ones. Um, and I know mushrooms ain't really considered a vegetable, but I've been doing mushrooms. Mushrooms are good for you as well. So there's a lot of different options, you know, like in the morning times, you know, I've been basically doing cereal. I'm doing no fat milk. You could do 2% or whatever here and there, but you know, I do low fat milk. Um, I've been doing cereal. Um, and once in the blue, I'll, I'll make a lean, like to breakfast turkey sausage or something. So I might have like, you know, once like so far like, like I had like a two weeks ago I had made two lean breakfast sausages in the um, air fryer and then I, I made a um like an egg omelet with um spinach and uh, sauteed spinach and mushrooms and, and I used um I can't believe it's not butter and, and I use, um, I can't believe it's not butter. And, and I use, um, I can't believe it's not butter. Hey everybody, it's Dr. Johnny. Today I'm going to talk about this. I can't believe it's not butter. And, and I use, um, I can't believe it's not butter. A family friend actually asked me to answer this question on my YouTube videos and, uh, I think it was because he, like many other people, had been taught that this is a really good thing. I mean, it's, you know, it doesn't have saturated fat, right? It's, it's made from other kinds of oils. It's not, it's not going to contribute to heart disease. Um, so let me, I, I, my reaction to this is I can't believe they still sell this crap. And, and I use, um, I can't believe it's not butter. That's really my reaction to this, but let me tell you why. So first of all, the reason there's even a product like this is because people were afraid of saturated fat. That is like being afraid of witches. It's an out of date fear that people still have, and I'm not putting anyone down for having that. We've all been indoctrinated with it since the 1980s, but it's not true, folks. It really is fake news. It wasn't always, it was there were people who legitimately believed that. They had some exploratory studies. They have not panned out. In the last 10 years, there's been an influx of published research showing that saturated fat does not cause heart disease. So there was no need to be afraid of saturated fat in the first place. And the only reason this crap exists is because they wanted to make something that catered to that fear. Oh, it tastes just as good as butter, but it's not unhealthy. Well, guess what? Butter was never unhealthy. Butter from grass-fed cows is a health food, all right? It has butric acid in it. it, it it's just, it's a, it's a perfectly fine food. So I question the premise of even needing this stuff in the first place. Now let's talk about whether it's any good. It's the worst junk in the world. It's made basically from pro-inflammatory vegetable oils. So what they did was they made a butter-like food product uh, of soybean oil, which let me tell you why I don't like soybean oil. Uh, it's number one, it's over 90% of it is GMO. I'm not a big fan of GMO vegetable oils. Number two, it's highly processed. And number three, it is loaded with pro-inflammatory omega-6s that we get way too much of in our diet. 